Just a little fast. You're doing a good job here. One. Nice, Max. Oh, get him. Okay, Max, you're on. There are a lot of similarities between Sao GP and F1. The fastest cars on land. The fastest seagoing vessels. Very close to contact. We're always trying to push the boundaries of our sport. And we're going faster than we've ever gone before. Go on, Checo. Come on. We're going to be doing some racing, but not on track. Nice, Max. You're, going to get You're making me look bad, oh. These are two of the most technologically advanced sports. A couple of big waves Hi, coming up. Oh. Give me five more. And they are both running their strategy on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Three, go, go, two, go, 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 go. One. The Oracle Red Bull Racing have joined us here in Centre Page. Oracle obviously being a sponsor of both Sao GP and F1. These are the most technologically driven sports that we have and they're keen to come and check out our boat. So you are here, invited by Oracle at the Sail GP. I'm going to do some sailing today, I think. I mean, I've, I've never really done it before, so uh, it's going to be a good experience. So this is the F50. The boats can do uh, above 90 kilometres an hour. It depends a lot on the wind or...? or it does, it yeah, it matter. depends on the wing. And we also have a bunch of different setups. You know, as you guys deal with aerodynamic drag, the real drag comes from the water, hydrodynamic drag. Once you can lift the entire boat out of the water, you just awesome. eliminate all this drag. It's really impressive. Have you guys done much sailing? No? No. Oh, no. perfect. No. So I think that's great. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing. Yeah. People are blown away when they've seen F50 for the first time. The fact that it lifts out of the water and then takes off is an incredible sight. They are proper race boats. A lot of carbon involved, aerodynamics, the foils. Yeah, there's a lot to it. And um, yeah, we get to experience that today. It's pretty cool that we're able to take these high level athletes and throw them on the boat and to actually go and push it in a race. They'll be filling the sixth sailor role. We will be going head to head with the Aussies out there. These yeah. guys are defending champs, so we've got good competition today. You're on the US team, but what, what, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> they didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, we could show you the grinding machines. If you guys want to have a look. 672 watts. I think you will be good at this, Checo. <laughs> but thank you. I'm taking up. Go on, Checo. Four, three, two, Woo. one. How much? 416. Five, four, three, two, <coughs> one. 427. <laughs> Just got you. I'm with that. <laughs> These F50s are more like a spaceship than a conventional sailboat. They have 800 sensors delivering 3,000 pieces of data every second. Our sports are so similar, how they interact with their teams, with their strategies. It's amazing what they do. We had the Oracle Center, the Cloud Center, which we went through. And strategy is, of course, extremely important. And you have to run billions of simulations. Because of Oracle, uh, we upped up by 25%. This is the data center. Is this, this for everyone? The, guys I guess. Yeah. the umpires have a similar setup, but they're all based actually in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. And they'll decide live, okay, this boat has a penalty. And you oh. see this one here? That's the British hitting the Japanese. Oh! Shit! Oh! I guess they got a penalty for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we've seen yeah. the boat, we've seen the data center. Let's get you guys ready and yeah. head on the water. Hey Jimmy, I hear you've drafted a couple of new recruits to help you beat me. I've got Red Bull's finest, Tommy. Yeah. See you on the water. Team USA, Team USA, this is the race committee for a radio check. Over. Yeah, hey Mel, you're a little soft in the comms. One, two, one, two. We'll do a little sailing just so you get a feel for it. Yeah, if I feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Yep, it's quite choppy, eh? One, mark, and turning. Hey, Max, good to have a steer, mate. It's pretty good. It's 
Got a little line. to the left. Yeah, I'm getting good. What's yeah. a bill like to the car? Uh, it's a completely different experience, but it's really cool. You can set a bill and slide, you know, it's a more cool Yeah. These boats have a GPS system on them. Yeah. It's accurate to within two and a half centimeters. They're going at fast and fast now? No. Fast. Two, one, lock, thinning. I'm going to try. Oh, all right, here he comes. Nice, mate. All good, mate? Yeah, all good. It's nice to see you. Uh, it's really cool. I think what they're going to do now is, I think we swap. I think Checo comes on. Yeah. Thanks, mate. So, so, Max, what was it like when the boat lifts out of the water? Yeah, I mean, I was really surprised how smooth it was. Actually, the, the faster you go, I found that the easier I was to change uh, sides. 62, that's got to be when you were driving, I reckon. I was trying to keep my head down, but... Uh... Let's go, guys. i do some sailing. Wow. Are no, you turning right? You're turning, should be able to get it. <laughs> OK, coming back, it'll be H1 out of this. Ah. Come by tack, let's get stable here. Full speed out of this, guys. Full speed. Uh, and, and my rake. Yep. Get up, guys. Keep it up. Two, one. Ah. <laughs> Trying to build. No, he's just going to take some rudder off so we get some depth. The inside good. on this here. Good pressure out of this. <laughs> Only one thing. That was enough. Nice, mate. Well done, man. Checker, you're going to swap with Max, so we need to give him your comms. What's the plan exactly? We're going to set up, and there'll be a race. Basically, from there, we're going to do attack, and then we can come straight back and finish in here. This is Team Australia. Do you have a, an approximate start time? Team Australia, Team USA. The start time is 13.55 local time. The course is as discussed. All right, Ed, I want you to fly on the ragged edge today. So far this season, we're on top of the table. Look, we're going to be out there racing. We're not going to pull any punches. We're going to try to show them why the Aussies are on top, but it'll be interesting to see how USA go with a bit more racing experience. The countdown there says 3.48, 3.47. That's how long to the start. And you'll see the software will help us so we can be there right on time. Right, OK, yeah. By far the best position here. Two, one, race start now. Two, one, lock. USA had a better position and were able to use the rules to stop the other boat getting on its foil. Just to the left of that mark. OK, just look over your shoulder here. Nice, Max. Just a little fast, you're doing a good job here. Nice, Max. You're going to get him. Two, and turning. One, lock. Are we going to swap, Max? Yeah. All right. Hey, how's you? Okay, Max, you're on. I don't think we had nice, Max. Smoke them. All boats, all boats, this is Mothership Brad. Confirming that the activation finished. Looking nice. to head back to the tech site, please. All right, I think we're just going to head back. Yeah. I have to take up foiling, mate. <laughs> yeah. You're making me look bad, eh? <laughs> I feel like I can learn to sail kit here right now. Are we just going to head straight for those super yachts, Max? Uh, then we give them the finger. <laughs> We survived. Very lovely. Yeah, enjoy it. yeah, I decided I quit Formula One. <laughs> it was awesome to get both Max and Checo out there. I think I can safely say that Tom and I are really big fans of the F1, and those two drivers clearly are just good guys, but they were genuinely really excited about it. The first time you take off, you don't know what to expect, so you're just like trying to look at what they're doing and how they're balancing. So it was a really cool experience, and then at one point you get a bit confident in what you're doing, or at least trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> to get out there and see those guys getting out there and enjoying what we do for a living, uh, it was pretty cool. And seeing some of their reactions about some of the forces in the turns, that they really enjoyed it, that, that's great. It puts sailing on the map.